This team has worked very hard for the past several months to prepare for this tournament, so please turn off all your phones or anything else that will be disruptive. Um, in this challenge, we were asked to create and present a story in a style of a tall tale. The story must include a narrator and an exaggerated character with a hyper hyperbolic trait. Each team will enhance the trait with a theatrical embellishment that will be created using technical methods. Teams will also have a scientific analysis to determine if the exaggerated character could actually exhibit the trait. The team also has to have the two team choice elements that include the interests, skills, and talents. Now I am pleased to present the Skittle Worms from Massachusetts! <laughs> Starring in her film, Partridge in the Pear Tree. Everybody, please welcome the lovely Wendy Shepard.
star of the show. What? That's it. This crazy and kind of parrot gives her sister her gift and next film. I'm going to make a movie all about a talking parrot. A parrot that talks like a human. With, if I may say so myself, quite remarkable communication skills. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, why would I say a bad idea, stupid parrot? <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry I was so short with you earlier. It's all right, I'm just messing with you. Thanks to the idea, parrot, I really mean it. Oh, any time, any time. But please, call me Patrick. But you're a parrot? Yeah, they don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> she really helped us create the story. Yeah, she was like a godsend inspiration. Wow. I know, so Krisha got the great answer she was looking for and a new friend. What a story. I know, right? I can't believe that actually happened. I'm not buying it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, there are parts of Wendy's story here well supported by fact, but it is clearly an exaggeration. If you'll allow me to use visual reference, this is a diagram of the parabrain. Within the parabrain, there is what is known as the song system, which is what allows parrots to learn and imitate sound. Within the song system, there are what are known as song nuclei, which dictate vocal learning and production. Parrots have especially developed song systems. Now, refer to the second diagram. Humans produce sound in the larynx and then shape the sound in their mouths. Birds instead have a syrinx, which both produces and shapes sound in the throat, enabling them to produce a wide range of possible sounds. Lastly, parrots are the most intelligent birds on Earth. Their monogamous nature and resulting ability to pick up on subtleties in their partners contributes to this. These social birds in captivity try to communicate with humans, and in some cases have grown to have associations with words and their meanings, saying things in the appropriate context after assigning meaning to words. This just proves my point. Oh, not so fast. While this does support wacky Wendy over here's crazy story, <laughs> it's still very implausible that the parrot Patricia saw did all this. So far, parrots have never been documented holding such complex conversations and expressing such complex emotions like this. While they have been able to pick up on the context of certain words, experts say they just can't understand the meaning behind our speech. <coughs> While they have very strong memories, parrots just don't have the well-developed frontal lobes that allow the human brain to have advanced thoughts. There is no way that Patricia had such a developed conversation with such a witty, aware How parent. dare you! Are you questioning the integrity of my guess? Heck yeah, we are! We already get these echoes out of here. But, but while it's based in reality, it's scientifically impossible, Timmy. Wendy is just bragging about what a crazy story she has. It's like a tall tale. Timmy, tip. what the heck is happening here? You're on a live broadcast. Um, folks, tune in tomorrow for a, a much better guest. See you next time. time.